I love it because it deals with big themes. It's about life and death and mortality, what happens to us, if anything. Um, do we just fade away uh, when we die? And it's also um, uh, a poem that is somebody trying to come to terms with old age and uh, looking at the world around him and seeing that it no longer belongs to him. Um, it belongs to the youth uh, and to the birds and the trees. And so uh, he, he, he wants to find a way out of this life um, into uh, something more esoteric, I think. But it's, it's so magnificently written and there's a terrific rhythm to it and the observation of, uh, uh, of himself uh, and lines like, uh, you know, uh, an old man uh, is like a, a tattered coat upon a stick. Uh, so astonishing and startling imagery and that's why I like it. That is no country for old men. The young in one another's arms, birds in the trees, those dying generations at their song. The salmon falls, the mackerel crowded seas, fish, flesh, or fowl commend all summer long whatever is begotten, born, and dies. Caught in that sensual music, all neglect monuments of unaging intellect. An aged man is but a paltry thing, a tattered coat upon a stick, unless soul clap its hands and sing and louder sing for every tatter in its mortal dress. Nor is there singing school, but studying monuments of its own magnificence, and therefore I have sailed the seas and come to the holy city of Byzantium. O oh, sages, standing in God's holy fire, as in the gold mosaic of a wall, come from the holy fire, pern in a gyre, and be the singing masters of my soul. Consume my heart away, sick with desire and fastened to a dying animal it knows not what it is, and gather me into the artifice of eternity. Once out of nature, I shall never take my bodily form from any natural thing, but such a form as Grecian goldsmiths make, of hammered gold and gold enamelling to keep a drowsy emperor awake, or set upon a golden bough to sing to lords and ladies of Byzantium, of what is past, or passing, or to come.